that this is an enormous rubbish tip, stretching as far as the eye can see in every direction. At its centre, the active dump site, 100 metres high. It's simply vast. On it, like worker ants, humans scavenge for anything they can find. But this is inside Europe today. These aren't refugees or economic migrants. These are Romania's poor, an underclass reduced to scratching out a living from this waste. Filming inside the dump is strictly prohibited. But one of the workers was prepared to take our camera inside to see what it's like and to get a sense of just how miserable this place really is. <coughs> Men, women and children make up the scavenging teams. Government and private contractors own all the waste here. The scavengers, crows as they are known, are paid a tiny cut to collect recyclable waste. Once they could take it away themselves to sell. Not now. They are economic slaves, effectively tied to live like this. This wasteland is a throwback to the Soviet era. Toxic waste was dumped here as well. Its gas still leaks into the air today. The nauseous vapours are a constant. Locals say illness is never far away. The smell of rotten garbage, it kills you. You cannot stay outside more than one minute. So you have to wear a mask so you can stay outside. For the people close to the, to the toxic waste, I cannot say how they feel or how sick they are. They are always sick and they, they cannot afford to go to the doctor or to hospital because they don't have insurance. The communities surrounding the dump are squalid. Five years ago, the inhabitants were evicted from their homes in the centre of the city of Cluj and made to live here, on the outskirts, along the railway tracks towards the dump site. The families live amongst the filth. Ten of them share this room, all ages, all in together. Living conditions put a new spin on the term basic. They burn off the hair of the pig before it will be prepared for eating. Nothing is ever left. A local leader gave us permission to film on his territory and showed us around. They are by and large Roma, a gypsy race originally from northern India who moved to Europe over a thousand years ago. Outsiders aren't welcome, and even with permission, tensions quickly mount. These Romanians demand equal rights, but theirs is a life of segregation, condemned to a life of the outsider at home. Healthcare, education, work opportunities are simply denied to them. We feel Romanians. I am a Romanian because I was raised in Romania and I live in Romania, but the Romanians don't, don't accept me, accept me like a Romanian. <coughs> they, they feel they discriminated us and uh, segregated us, and, as you see. And do you feel like that as well, even though you've perhaps uh, done better than many? Yes, I feel like that because even if I, uh, I say I'm a Romanian, uh, the Romanians say you're not a Romanian, you're a gypsy. The traditional gypsy say oh, you're not a uh, gypsy, you're a gajo. So, <laughs> so you're somewhere in the middle, yeah, stop, nobody in wants middle, you. Yeah, in the grey area. Tony Novak speaks Romanian, English, Italian and German, he taught himself. He works when he can in the United Kingdom. He says he can't get a job out here because of who he is. More difficult because we live here, and uh, the people that when they uh, find out I live here, it's and and this is this is very much the point, because of where you actually live and yes. the fact that you would be linked to the Roma people. Yes, basically that's the end of work. Isn't exactly, it? exactly. When they find out, because at the first they don't, uh, they, they are not interested about the guy. But if it stays two or three months, they dig where you come from, where you live, which, which are your neighbours, and go on. Nobody wants to live and work in a place like this, but these people have no choice, and there's little wonder that they would like to go somewhere else. In many ways, there's little difference between them and the refugees and economic migrants currently pouring into Europe, except, of course, one major difference. They're already in Europe, and they're Europeans, but they enjoy none of the benefits the rest of us take for granted.
On the busy streets of Cluj, Romania's second city, there is little concern for the poorest members of their society. For its part, the local authorities deny discrimination, arguing rather that the crows, the scavengers, choose to live outside normal society. People just expect everybody to follow the same rules they do and to, to cope with the same problems they do and expect to have the same chances and opportunities they do. I think in terms of local mentality, this is the, the, the general idea. Some take all the responsibilities and the opportunities and the uh, rights that comes with belonging to, a community, to our community, some don't. So I think it's in that maybe a matter of choice. For years, human rights groups have criticized Romania for its treatment of these people. But as this country's European partners prepare to allocate refugees across the member states, there's growing concern here over how the refugees will be treated when Romania's underclass is condemned to live like this already. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Cluj, Romania.